Teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 24-yard line. The Bruins and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy hurt. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the ball. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense, is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week, is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. It's hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Man, two Makes it out to about the 39. What a run. Here they give it to the tailback and a little misdirection play. And you can see the athleticism and the ability to make guys miss. Nice play. He makes it to the 42-yard line. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. was in the backfield in a hurry and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Third down now and they need to get it to the 29. This one out to the right. That was actually pretty good defense. But a great pass and a great catch were enough to overcome. This is the ninth play of this drive. the 22 yard line second down he might have a chance they'll bring him down at about the 13 and this is the 11th play of the current drive they come out in a five wide set he gets sacked on the play So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and he's got it. UCLA is lining up to kick this one off. 
He'll return it from the four-yard line. And what a play by the kicker to take him down. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here's the halfback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. there on that option. That brings up second and 13. Second down. UCLA has a three point lead. He's taken down at the two yard line. Brown gains about four yards there. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Touchdown, UCLA! Coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. And he hits the PAT. An eight play, 74-yard drive. And 
show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit they could easily fall out of the game now his man can't tack on any yardage from their own 35 yard line it's second down Sometimes you lose your focus when you start this fast. I think a challenge for them is just to maintain what they've done up to this point and keep their foot on the accelerator. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. Well, I think this defense has got to do something because right now the quarterback is in such a good rhythm that you've got to do something to try to get him out of it. I would suggest trying to bring more pressure. Try to come up with an exotic blitz look to try to get him on his heels as opposed to being the aggressor and attacking the defense. Inside the 44. two-yard line. It's second down. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. On the run. Down at the 44-yard line. Jones will be the return man. This puck goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime.
receiver screen and he can't hang on. Bobo is back deep to return the punt. Gets to about the 41 yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And he's taken down right around the 42-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 42-yard line. Five wide. But I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. That'll make a foot down. They're going to have to punt. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on the pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion second down 10 yards to go ball on their own 36 tackle made around the 32 yard line hurt themselves by digging themselves into a hole on first and second down. So the defense didn't really have to put too much thought in how to defend on that third down. UCLA's running ability is what we've been talking about and looking at all week long, and that's what we thought would be on full display. It's been the air game, Kirk. Yeah, it's an interesting move here, Brad. For a team with a start in the backfield, I'd expect them to try to establish the ground game a little bit more, but still early in this game, we're seeing them following this trend to see if it continues here in the second half. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. situation here. Second down and one. And down he goes at about the 49. From the 48-yard line, second let's go, down. Let's, bring let's go, let's bring it, let's bring it. Black five, black go. With the pass incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it. And you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, you aim the ball. He's tackled at the 19. He just couldn't pull that one in clean. And Brad, that's what happens when you take your eyes off the ball. This was an error that should have been avoided. It was a quick three and out on their last possession. From their own 
23 yard line. Second down. themselves right now. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. UCLA's offense really had a goal in that first quarter, but they're starting to struggle here in the second half. Well, because they played so well early in this game, even though they have been struggling, they still have a pretty comfortable lead. Now let's see if they can hold on to it here as we get ready for the second half. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Tackled for a loss. That was just smash-mouth, helmet-to-chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 45-yard line, second down. He doesn't want a touchback here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. For the offensive coordinators, it's back to the drawing board. Well, this offense all of a sudden just can't do anything right. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Second down. And he throws it away. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Goes a laser across the middle. Tackle around the 35-yard line. Good job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. Two times, two times. From their own 35-yard line, first down. And now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 43. And they hit him in the backfield. So we're looking at another third down here. They bring the quarterback down, and they got him with a blitz. 
Yeah, that time the pressure came from the safety position. Nobody picked him up, but he came up with a big-time play. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Quick out to his receiver. And he's tackled at the 50. This is the ninth play of this drive. Try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Looks for his running back incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. a big time read by this safety you know a lot of times as a safety you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play action pass or play potentially that can go behind you i think this safety has that sixth sense his instincts on that play were special he read the run got into the backfield and made the play successful with this drive as they had to put the ball away the last time they had it. And he's taken down around the 40-yard line. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Steps out of bounds at about the 21. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. Quick throw. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. something upstairs it led to a touchdown you can thank the play call there very impressive and it takes some real accuracy on those deep corner routes so kudos to the quarterback trying to get within a field goal they'll try the point after he makes the PAT with only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime I would expect he'll just quick kick this one it's fielded at the two Tackle made at the 31 yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Bruins with a three point lead. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He'll take it from the two. He's to the 20. Across the 30. He'll bring him down at the 32. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. That goal at a decent pickup. That makes it 76. 
Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 36 yard line. Run left side. And he hits him hard at the 36 yard line. series by this defense forcing them to go three and out and the offense really struggled on this drive. they're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys spangler awaits the snap he makes it to the 38 yard line we're about set to start things up again UCLA has a three-point lead. Nice run there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Somehow he's able to throw the ball away. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Right to scramble, but he's sacked. Take it from the 18. And now the ball is loose. Picks up the fumble. And he's brought down at the 30. This would be a great time to try to capitalize on this momentum shift and take some shots downfield. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. yard line. It's second down. He's at the 20. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. Seven. Second down. Complete right down. Nothing to do it. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Fourth down. This one should be makeable. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. Even though they gave up the field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He'll return it from the four-yard line. At the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 46. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense 
feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game, but the offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. There's a strike complete. Tackle made the 49-yard line. Second down and seven. Ball on their own 49. the 40-yard line. First down. Goes to his back, and it's in and out of his hands. The Bruins had one of their key guys go down earlier. This looks like he might be able to return. Passes it to the middle of the field. He's tackled in the open field. They're about four yards away here on third down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw. He gets hit out of bounds at the two-yard line. And that's the way you're supposed to play pitch and catch. Absolutely. You know, this wide receiver is a difference maker. He's one of those players that has a chance to go the distance every time you get him the ball. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose your edge. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks up, and he got it. Well, not much in the way of offensive fireworks, but really, it's a good game nonetheless. The defenses have been bringing the wood the whole game. I think the team that can find a way to get a big play is probably going to be the team that's going to win. They line up to kick this one away. Fields it at the two. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. Not sure what the flag is about here. Let's go down to the field and find out. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? 
UCLA holds a field goal lead. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Everything about that play was crisp. The route, the throw, the catch, that's fun to see. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 19-yard line. The 17-yard line. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. Second down. Black five, black five. Counter to the left. Brought down at the 40. coming after this punter. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Well, this offense is going to have to do a better job on this drive. Remember the last time, they went for it on fourth down and came up short. Now they get the football back. Let's see how they can do it. Nothing doing on a halfback draw. Brilliant work by both defenses through three quarters of play. Who can open it up in the fourth quarter? Whoever does has got a great chance to win. 13-10, Bruins. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Great 
job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Pretty obvious passing down here. They're faced with third and one. Quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. Bobo is back awaiting the punt. Bobo takes it at the 43. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. Well, I can say this much, Kirk, at least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team's been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard, and at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win? You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. UCLA has a three-point lead. This defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From the 48-yard line, second down. Steps out of bounds at the 43. two-yard line. It's second down. He's under pressure. He might have gained a yard on that scramble. They come out in a five-wide set. field goal unit here there's a little bit of happy feet down there on the field let's get the call false start off the pass. just the middle laps but it's going to cost him five yards still fourth down ucla is up by three he gets it up he clanks it off the upright no good Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down.
you know this is a real crucial time in the game. It can still go either way. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. On the ground with the tailback. They'll get him for a loss. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up second and 12. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. UCLA holds a field goal lead. Three nine, three nine. Three, three, three. A little toss across the middle. Tackle made around the 36-yard line. That brings us third and ten. moving there's no stopping him this guy is so big and strong that he's almost impossible to block with one guy third down now and they need to get it inside the 42 they'll bring him down at the 43 yard line Jones back to return it this puck goes over the goal line and this will be a touchback both teams realize that when the ball is snapped we're one play away from a very different ball game he makes it out to maybe the 23 yard line Second and seven. Ball on the 23. Just under three to go in regulation. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. down 10 to go ball on the 41 yard line slings it and down he goes at about the 47 yard line of the series just over a minute in the fourth quarter fires that quickly incomplete 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Tenth play of the drive. Tackle for a loss. I think the corner is the toughest position to play in football. You have to be athletic enough to be able to run with wide receivers and willing to be able to come up and make plays like this to be able to stop the run. This is a big time play by a corner showing the versatility to be able to come up and be physical in the run game. Quick pass, man open and he dropped it. They line up for another third down and they've had no problem converting their first two. Just a tremendous job by that defense and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game, and now the offense has got a chance to win it. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. And down he goes at the 27. Yeah, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. It's an quickly to the back, but he can't hold it in. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27. Under a minute left. Black five, black five, black five. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's tackled the 35-yard line. UCLA is going to use their first time out of the half here. He's in trouble. Just a tremendous play there late in the fourth quarter in a tie football game. And now it all comes down to the final seconds or overtime. Jones is back deep to return. Jones fields it at the 22, and he's tackled at the 29. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession is going to count, and this could be the one right here. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. It is time for someone to step up and make the play. And fourth, did the defense come through? Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That is huge. Three-yard line. It's first down. They got one more shot. Let's see if their prayers will be answered with a good old Hail Mary. Incomplete pass. Well, we've had fun, folks, but we're not done yet because this game is heading to overtime. And here we are. We played four quarters, and we still don't have a winner, so we go to overtime. They'll spread the field with five wide. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. From the 21-yard line, it's second down. Scrambling, and he's going to be sacked for a loss. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day.
kicker will come out and try to build a three-point cushion here in overtime. The kick is up, and it's good. The kicker does his job, but now it's up to the defense. They're going to have to stand up and make a big stop. This is very nerve-wracking for both teams because now anything can happen in this second series of overtime. comes the pressure, and they got him. They've been all over this quarterback today. Pass protection has got to do a better job, but give this defense some credit. They've really figured out what they have to do to pressure the quarterback and cause him some problems. From the 32-yard line, second down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wide outs. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. This one will fall incomplete. So now it will all fall upon the kicker as they need these points to stay in the game. Kicks up, and he nails the long field goal. He looked totally calm there, didn't he? He knew what he had to do, and he just drilled it. Well, it's going to take another round at least. You can bet the coaches are going to look to be more aggressive on both sides of the ball. There's a strike complete. Good tackle there in space. From the 22-yard line, second down. Complete run down, nothing to do. comes out to try to put three points on the board here in overtime. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. It's so tough to move the ball forward. Even a five-yard setback can do damage to a drop. Kicks away, and he's got it. I know they would have rather put the ball in the end zone, but this is still big. Points are points. I think their defense is going to thrive under the circumstances. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Deserve this 
this W. And that should do it. Our final tally in this one. UCLA 22, Maryland 19. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.